Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Back with a video, and this time I am just trying to compile all the video that I made on LoRaWAN, LoRaWAN technology. I think let me just walk you through with what I made so far regarding LoRaWAN. Uh, the first thing that I made was actually uh, just to show you a chirp modulator which is being used by SDR. Then second video I think I made on the working block diagram of your LoRaWAN modulator which was based on a uh, paper that is there. I will also leave a link with that video as well with this particular video as well where in a transmitter mode you have a whitening block you have a header block then you have a CRC, Hamming code, interleaver, gray mapping, modulation and this was being transmitted. The simulation was based on actually a channel model that we used. And also at the receiver end, we will also have the similar block. Um, and we were trying to receive a signal. We are trying to modulate the signal using LoRaWAN, which was basically based on Chirp Chat Modulator. And we also tried to receive that signal uh, following the setup like Frame Sync, FFDD Modulator, Gray Mapping, D Interleaver, Hamming, and, and Header Decoder and de-whitening and finally the message was being printed. This video actually compiles all of that where we're going to use this block that we have already discussed. I don't want to go into detail. You can already watch my video and you can also follow the paper by the author as well. I will leave a link to that paper as well. Here I'm going to transmit a message which says please subscribe to my channel and my name and I'm going to transmit this channel following all the blocks that we have available which includes whitening and all of this all of these blocks and we're going to transmit that using usrp so we're going to actually transmit the signal live using usrp and for that purpose as you can see i'm using usrp n210 uh, this one is the one that will have a wbx card in it this one does not have a UBX card because UBX card has a limit. I think it goes from 50 megahertz all the way up to 6 gigahertz. But WBX card that is there, the RF dollar card that goes from I think 50 megahertz all the way up to 2.4, 2.4 gigahertz, somewhere around that range. So we're going to use this and we're going to use this USRP block to actually transmit the signal, my message using LoRaWAN. And we're going to verify this using our RTLSDR dongle. As you can clearly see, this is also connected to my laptop. So this USRP is connected to my laptop via Ethernet cable. As you can clearly see this, this is the cable. And my, U, uh, my RTLSDR dongle is also connected. So the setup is quite simple. We're going to transmit this from the USRP. We're going to also receive this using USRP. And we're going to verify the signal that indeed we are using we are using chirp chat modulator and it is actually based on chirp chat modulator and we're going to verify this using receiving the signal using rtl sdr dongle and using gqrx so this is going to be my setup uh, this thing has an address 192.168.10.3 as you can see this and we're going to use a same usrp because usrp is a full duplex device to transmit and receive my signal and and, and, and we're going to also receive this using our RTL SDR dongle. So, so this is the transmitter part. And this is my receiver part. So my receiver is going to be received by my USRP. Right here. And we're also then demodulation. You can also watch my other video where I've explained all these blocks. And you can also follow the paper as well, which was published in 2024. And we're going to try to... I receive the message and we're going to also look at it using our RTL SDR dongle. So let's just go in and play this. So once I start playing this, you can start seeing that it's already picked up my USRP N210 and your message is being received and your message is please subscribe to my channel. This is the message and you can also see it here as well and hold on let me just look at my other flow graph as well let me open up my terminal and you can also see the message is being printed here so what's happening now that this is being received by my uh, usrp 
transmitted by my USRP being received by my USRP using this antenna and you can clearly see this message is being printed my payload length is about 52 I'm using a CRC coding scheme of two two bits are being used for your uh, coding um, and so on so having this minimize this and uh, if you were to look at it my center frequency that is there in my block go to RF option this is being controlled by this center frequency variable block and this frequency turns out to be 868.1 megahertz now what I'm gonna do I have my GQRX which is there which is so this is GQRX and I'm using my RTL SDR dongle which is connected here right here this and we're going to receive this signal at 868.1 megahertz now you can clearly see this that we are receiving and this is exactly the same structure of my chirp chat modulator that we have used in SDR Angel just to give you an idea Laura Van uses something called chirp chat modulator and this is what it looks like just to give you an idea let me go into SDR Angel and let me show you this uh, because SDR Angel is also confused because I also have my as a USRP and RTL simultaneously connected to the same laptop so it's trying to load the plugins but the idea is quite simple that's what I wanted to show you that if you go here and if you add channels and you will go into chirp chat demodulator and if you apply this and let me cancel this and Laura does use a chirp chat modulator so basically this was a demo that I wanted to show you guys and now this is the complete picture regarding LoRaWAN how you're going to transmit your signal using USRP and how you're going to receive it you can also transmit using uh, Heck RF or Pluto SDR as well, uh, but I happen to use uh, an uh, USRP N210. So if you have any questions, just leave it in a comment section, and you can clearly see this. Let me turn off the transmission so you can see that nothing is being transmitted, so it doesn't look like a dummy signal. Let me stop this. Let me kill the flow graph, and as you can see, there's nothing that is being transmitted here. So. If you have any questions, uh, leave it in the comment section. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching. So basically, I have now completed everything you need to know regarding LoRaWAN.